King of Glory this morning. Worship the I am that I am, the God who can never fail. Worship Him this morning. Worship Him with gladness. Worship Him with gladness of heart. Worship Him with joy. With a joyful attitude. Worship the Eshadai. Worship the I am that I am. What the mighty God is. Jehovah, we worship you this morning. Instead of days, we honor you. Woo! We are serving the God who can never fail. In Jesus' name, we worship. In the times of worship, or in times of worship, you don't need to ask God for anything. It will be God asking you to ask him for anything. Can you see how powerful worship is? And let me tell you one of the reasons why you see the lives of some believers dried. No worship. Some believers also don't know how to worship God. They don't know. So let's worship. They open your eyes and be looking everywhere. Worship simply means you are giving God praise. You are adoring his name. You are telling him you are worthy. You are telling him you are awesome. Worship flows not from your lips, but from your heart. Expressing your gratitude to God. But as I look across the congregation, many are just pretending to worship because you can't worship at the same time and be looking around and be gazing at yourself. People can worship God when they are full of themselves. True worshipers of God, they worship God because they say, all of you, O oh God, are none of me. When you are too full of your exotic dress, full of your achievement, you can't worship God. True worshipers of God recognizes that it is by the grace of God that I am everything that I, I am. This morning, in the next few minutes, will you open your mouth and show an attitude of gratitude to God in whatever way you can do so? Please go ahead and do that this morning. In whatever way you can do that, let the instrumentalists worship God with their instrument. Let them, the choir worship God with their song. Let the men worship God with their voices. Let the women worship God with their melodious voices. Let the youth worship God with their strength, with their creativity. Say something to Him this morning. Palelesia God the Shigadola Bagadosha Paya. Oh! 
Father, we worship you this morning. We give you praise this morning. We are not ungrateful. We are not unmindful. We can forget your faithfulness. We can forget your love. We can forget your mercy. Legosia gando sepa yadashia. Kuli shabayabo. Choir from where you are, can you sing this song and let's praise God? Jehovah, holy your man. La boshia gando shabayabo. Go ahead, don't stop. Go ahead and give him all the praise. Choir, whatever way you can minister that song with grace, with oil. Sing it like a song. said when Jehoshaphat had gathered the people together as they began to praise God God took over their battles I said the way some of you are standing this morning I'm sorry to say sometimes what I can diagnose by the spirit of God is a state of being spiritually unhealthy Someone's case is changing this morning. Someone's life will never be the same again. Your struggles are over. Setbacks are over. Spiritual deadness is over. Today is the last day of the month of January 2021. 
Are you telling me, please hold the sound. Are you telling me this morning that there is nothing God has done for you? Or you have forgotten all that it is to you? That when we are saying, God, you are so good, you are so good, and you are standing like a pillar, just busy looking at who is going. Lift up your two hands. Lift it up this morning. Your worship of God will attract his wonders into your life. Another thing I can diagnose this morning is that many of you come to church unprepared. No prayer, no spiritual exercise, just come as you are. So while the service is still on, you are still partially asleep because you've not exercised yourself. I've been awake since 3 a.m. this morning preparing for this service, both in prayer, both in praise, both in study. So you see, there is a gap. Lift up your two and shout. They say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In this service. In Baptize me, Baptize me with your presence. With your presence. Strengthen, me Strengthen me to walk, to walk with, you with you in the reign of, of the Spirit. Tonight, today, today say this morning, this morning, every form of spiritual heaviness, I cast you away. Open your mouth and pray that prayer very quickly. Pray that prayer this morning. Every form of spiritual heaviness heaviness like a burden like a burden in your spirit that you are not spiritually active or alive cast it away this morning every form of spiritual heaviness Every form of spiritual heaviness. Colossia da da basha talashia. Le shagadoshia. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Please give me your attention. When you are spiritually alive, you know it. You don't need anybody to tell you. You just know that I'm spiritually okay. I'm a spiritually fit. I'm spiritually heady. One of the signs you get when you are spiritually healthy, amen. It's the ability to know the mind of God part time. Another thing is that there will be peace, there will be joy, there will be hope. Once as a child of God, you are full of worries, confusion, you know that those are some of the symptoms of not being spiritually healthy. Worries, depression, bodies, confusion. Lift up your two hands. Today is the last day of the month of January 2021. Someone will experience divine visitation. So declare this with your mouth and let your heart be connected to what your mouth is saying. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. This morning, I ask for a fresh hunger for you at all times in my heart. Shout and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, by your spirit and by your word, create in me an unquenchable hunger for you at all times. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. An unquenchable hunger. An unquenchable hunger. An unquenchable hunger. An unquenchable hunger. Someone. Pray that this morning, an unquenchable hunger, an unquenchable hunger for you at all times. An unquenchable hunger. An unquenchable hunger.
and unquenchable hunger. Create in me, O oh God, a desire to have an unquenchable hunger. An unquenchable hunger to love you, to obey you, to do your will at all times. An unquenchable hunger. Woo! An unquenchable hunger. In Jesus' name, we pray. Can your aim may be stronger? Yes. Can your aim may be heavy? Yes. Can your aim may be alive? Yes. Can your aim may silence the aim of your neighbor? Yes. Can your aim may really be an amen? Yes. Can your aim may go with the waving of your hand? Say amen. Pray this this morning. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. This year, 2021. No room for evil. No room for distractions. No room for setback. No room for evil news. No room for Satan in my life and my family. Go ahead and pray and declare that no room for distractions. Is somebody praying that this morning? No room for distractions in my life. This morning, in Jesus' name, we pray. Lift up your two hands very high. In the name of Jesus Christ, the one who loves us, the one who died on the cross and shed his blood for us, I declare this over you, the last day of the month of January 2021. There are no room for evil in your life this year. I don't know who I'm praying this for, but I declare in the name of Jesus from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, no room for sickness in your body. Yeah. What will rob you of the year 2021 is not permitted to come to you. Yeah. What will rob you of what God has ordained for your life will not prosper over you. What will rob your family of joy, peace, and progress is not permitted to come to your family. In the name of Jesus. I declare this this morning. In the book of Isaiah, he said, The uncircumcised will not enter you again. The uncircumcised means the devil, it means the works of the enemy. I declare in the name of Jesus. Your body is whole. Kalo Shaba. Your family is whole. Your career path is whole. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Turn your Bibles with me very quickly to Isaiah 62, verse number 2. The nations will see your righteousness. 
and all kings your glory. Lift up your two hands. By the next service, men will already see something happening in your life. Grace happening in your life. Favor happening in your life. Progress happening in your life. Blessings happening in your life. Let me prophesy this as the Lord impressed it in my heart. People who think that because they are older than you, they should be ahead of you, they will see grace speak for you. People who think that they are more qualified than you, so they should have the best, grace will speak for you. People who think you are not good enough, and so they are the ones that deserve what is good, I declare grace will speak for you. Those you see far ahead of you and you are wondering where will I get there, grace will speak for you. He said, the nations will see your righteousness and not some. He said, and all kings your glory. And by so doing, you will be called by a new name. That the mount of the law will bestow. In other words, the name that the mount of the law will give to you. The Bible said, when Jacob wrestled with that angel, please listen to this this morning. When Jacob wrestled with that angel, and then the angel said, it's time for me to go. Please let me go. Jacob said, you will never go unless you bless me. And the angel said, please, he said, you will not go unless you bless me. And the angel said, now since you are insisting, I must bless you before I go. What is your name? Say, my name is Jacob. He said, that's where your problem is. From today, you will no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. Lift up your two hands and shout this wherever you are part of this service. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This, year, this year, 2021. I will bear your name. Your name of favor. The name of glory. The name of good head. The name of progress. The name of peace. The name of prosperity. Open your mouth and declare, this year I will bear the name my divine name my destiny name is somebody praying this morning is somebody really praying this morning I will not bear the name of shame and reproach I will not bear the name of setback This year you will answer your divine name, your destiny name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Please hold on. Life is too precious to be wasted. Your life is too unique to be missed by your generation. Oh, Lakata Shaba. You will not end your life in tears. You will not end your life journey in regret. Hmm, say that amen because I'm praying very seriously so you will not end your life in tragedy amen. you will not end your life journey in sorrow amen. you will not end your life journey looking around and be full of regret amen. you will not end your life journey in bitterness amen. can you say that amen like you really mean it amen. the days of your life will be full of grace amen. you will enjoy favor amen. You will enjoy divine leading in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, I'd like you to pray this last prayer before we are done with this section. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. As Noah, say it, say, as Noah and his family were protected in the hack. So this morning, I bring my entire family into your presence and I ask. For your divine protection upon my life and every member 
of my household. I ask your hand of protection, deliverance, healing, restoration upon them all. Open your mouth and pray this prayer of intersection. Pray this prayer of intersection. As Noah and his family were saved from the flood, so the Lord will save you from the evil flood. The Lord will save you and your children and your spouse and your entire household from evil flood. The Lord will watch over your siblings. The Lord will watch over your parents. The evil flaw of 2021 will not sweep any member of your family over. Prayers and intercession this morning. Pray for your children. Call them by name if you can. Call them by name if you can. Call them by name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Whoever is somewhere wishing, waiting, praying, and expecting evil to occur in your life, and your family, they'll wait in vain. Amen. Say that amen like you really know it. I have compassion on God's children who are afraid of their enemies. The Lord spoke through Balaam to Balaam. He said, There is no enchantment, there's no divination, there's no sorcery. Lift up your two hands. Anything called conspiracy. Centered on your life and your family, the Lord will throw them into confusion. Please, if I pray this, I'm sure you will receive it. Anywhere there is a gathering, but not for your good. The Bible told us, say, let God arise and let all his enemies be scattered. So in the name of Jesus, and I need your amen to be white, every gathering of evil against you, they are scattered in Jesus' name. Every gathering of Satan against you is scattered in Jesus' name. Amen. I declare over you, the flood came, swept everyone away. But Noah and his family were saved in the ark. I declare 2021 over you and your household. I declare this over you and your household. The flood of evil in 2021 will not sweep any member of your family. Will not sweep your spouse away. We not sweep your husband away. We not sweep your career away. As many of you can hear the sound of my voice, we will cross into 2022 victoriously in the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, we thank you this morning. Will you with joy glorify God and thank you for the answers to our prayers.